It was the key commitment that took Labor to the top. We must stop these asset sales. But 18 months later, the Premier has announced state-owned land will be sold off to developers to help fund new infrastructure. Governments of both persuasions, their normal course of business transactions, have involved the buying and selling of land. She has lied to the people of Queensland and no matter the weasel words or the spin they put on it, this is still an asset sale. Much of the land is underutilised and in prime locations, like part of the main rail yards at Bowen Hills and properties at Boggo Road, Roma Street and Woolloongabba. It's a weight on their balance sheet it's, uh, and they need to get rid of it and do something constructive with the capital. Together, the land parcels will create an economic development corridor along the proposed Cross River Rail route. Call it what you will, we don't believe that it should be considered as being a broken promise because ultimately this is a decision decision that benefits all Queenslanders. The unions campaigned heavily against the LNP's privatisation plans. Are you with me? Yeah. But they support the move, reasoning they're not income generating assets. I have said to Queenslanders, my number one priority is to create jobs. Also up for grabs in Brisbane will be an empty college at Oxley and this former university campus at Castledine, which QUT vacated eight years ago. In terms of implementing our policy, of course we would support that, but that's not what we're seeing here. Regional renewal precincts are also planned for Townsville, Toowoomba, Mackay and Rockhampton. There's a direct economic benefit from increasing activity that will generate jobs and other outcomes across the community. What we're seeing here is a desperate fire sale of asset sales. But it's what talks louder, money or a politician's word. Tegan George, 10 Eyewitness News.